What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. In today's video, I am joined by a very special guest. This is Steve. Everyone say hi to Steve. Steve, say hi to everyone at home. Hiya. But yeah, I woke up this morning and he just appeared on my face. He like, he just showed up and just decided to sit on my face. That was not how it was supposed to come out. So in today's video, and I'm a little bit nervous about this one, I'm gonna be doing a full face using only cream products. So no powder, not even a little bit. I've seen a few people do this kind of video in the past. Like for example, I know Samantha Ravendal loves using cream products and I've also seen Raw Beauty Christy do a video like this. So yeah, I gathered up a bunch of my favorite cream products. I've got everything from like Kiko, NYX, a little bit of Iconic London, who have, by the way, sponsored a portion of today's video for their new sheer blush, which spoiler alert, I do actually freaking love, which I know doesn't sound like a thing I would love blush, let alone a cream blush, but we'll get into that later. So like, I love all these products individually, but I love them as part of like my normal makeup routine. I don't think I've ever just sat down and done a full face of makeup without powdering it down. So, a little bit nervous. I mean, why not just do it in front of over 400,000 people? So yeah, if you guys do wanna see me do a full face using only cream products, please stay tuned and please help me. All right, so I'm just gonna chuck on these bad boys quickly. Just while I do my base. Oh, look at these tapes. I'm disgusting. Oh my God, I need to get my hair done, so bad. Okay, so for primer, I just went ahead and used my normal everyday moisturizer. It's called the, what's it called? It's in a glass jar, doesn't narrow it down. It's the one from Make Cosmetics called Secret Sauce. Of course it's called Secret Sauce. What else would a moisturizer be called? So that's all I've got on my face so far. So what I'm gonna do for foundation is I'm gonna be using the Kiko Sicilian Notes Full Coverage Hydra Foundation, which looks like these. This isn't my usual color, but um, I mean, to be honest, looks pretty decent on camera. My tan is fading. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. I really like this foundation. It's super full coverage and I love how this stuff looks on my skin, but I've never not powered it down. So this is gonna be interesting. So I'm just gonna pop that all over my skin. I'm really making sure I'm pressing that in because I don't want it to look like it's like sitting on my face or anything. Definitely could have made a little innuendo there. I'm gonna go in on this side. Like it's literally so full coverage, I love it. Let's go over this guy as well. Oh, that was maybe more than I needed, but we're rolling with it. Now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Concealer Pomade, which again, I do really, really like, but again, I have not used this without setting it down. So I think I'm just gonna take that on my finger first, just to kind of like warm it up. And I'm gonna go under my eyes with that and just tap that in and then blend that out with a sponge. And then we'll just put a little bit of makeup on Steve as well. He wants to get involved. Ooh, that covered Steve up quite well. Almost can't see you there, mate. Then again, just a little bit on my eyelids. This is one of the things I'm mostly worried about because my eyelids crease quite a lot unless I actually do use a powder. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know how this is gonna work. I mean, so far, especially on camera, with all these lights, didn't really think this through, I am looking super shiny. Like, day-to-day -day life, looking at myself, you know, not on camera, not in the viewfinder, it doesn't look that bad. Just looks kind of glowy. But with these lights, I'm super glowy like under my eye. There's like a square of light here on my forehead. <gasps> but you know what? I might wait. Okay, this could either save me or be the end of me. So I just remembered I had this. I've actually not tried this before. So like I said, like I don't know how this is gonna work. This is the cream to powder foundation. Now I'm thinking in my head, the color's not far off. So maybe I can do a little bit of that just on the areas where I'm shiny, because I mean, it is a cream product. It fully does swatch like a cream, but it says it sets down like a powder. So I don't know. I'm just hoping it can get rid of like the glare on my face. So I'm just gonna take the little sponge that it comes with. I might switch back over to my beauty blender. I'm gonna load that up on the sponge and let's try start on my chin. Cause I feel like we can sort the chin out if anything goes really, really wrong. Okay. That might have saved my bloody bacon there. Right, let's try it with my Beauty Blender, okay, I'm gonna start here and go under my eyes. Did that do anything? Come on, please. I feel like that's mattified it down slightly. At this point, I'll take anything. Mm, it's quite heavy, but at least I'm not looking as wet now. So now for contour, I'm gonna take my RCMA Camouflage Concealer Palette. I think that's what it's called. It's not, it's called the Highlight and Contour Palette in the shade Light. So I'm gonna be using a little mixture of these two shades here. I'm gonna take some of that on my sponge and just 
dot that on my cheeks. I feel like doing this will also maybe help to like slightly mattify everything. Bit on the forehead. I'm actually gonna bring it onto my cheeks a touch more as well, just to kind of warm me up a little bit. And then what I'm also gonna do is just take a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna pick up some of that color on there, tap off some of the excess, do a tiny little bit of nose contouring. And then because I don't really have like a matte cream eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and pop that in the crease as well, just to give me a little bit of something, something going on. Might even take a little bit of the darker one as well. Yeah, why not? I actually really quite like cream eyeshadows. I just wish you could be a little bit more precise with them. I don't know, I find that they don't really work unless you're using a fluffy brush and sometimes I don't want it to be like as blown out. What is that eyebrow doing? My eyebrow's gone haywire right now. I'm also gonna chuck some of that under my eyes as well. Again, hopefully this will kind of like keep any creasing at bay. And screw it, I'll shove some under my lip as well. Okay, all right, my headband is just doing things right now so I'm just gonna take this off. All right, how are we looking? Very beige right now. Bit more shiny than normal, but actually like in person, it does just look like my skin's kind of like glowing on camera. On camera, I don't think this is for me. I think I do need to kind of mattify some areas down because these lights make everything look so much more intense. But in person, apart from it maybe looking a little bit heavy where I put the um, sleek cream to powder, I feel like it looks quite nice. So now let's move on to blush. So like I said, I have actually teamed up with Iconic London for this portion of the video, but I've been using this for a little while now and I actually really, really like it, which is such a weird thing for me to say because number one, it's a blusher and blushes aren't usually my thing. Number two, it's like a cream liquid blusher, which again, not my thing at all, but this stuff, you'll see it when it's on my skin, but it's, it's basically like a blush highlighter makes your skin super, super glowy. So like you guys know me, if it means I'm gonna end up looking even more glowy, then usually it's a thumbs up from me. So I'm gonna be using the shade Rose Riot. So I've been using this one and then the other kind of like light pinky one. Packaging is cute, just like all the other Iconic London products. It comes in this little squeezy tube. So I'm gonna apply quite a bit on my hand just to kind of show you guys. So it looks like that. And I know that can look a little bit scary. You might be looking at that thinking, oh my God, like, what is going on, but if I just like blend this in for you, you can obviously blend it in as much as you like or as little as you like. If you want it to be a really intense blush, you could kind of leave it like that, or you can blend it out a bit more and you can just make it look as sheer as you want it to. You can build it up so I could add a little bit more if I wanted to and then just load that up on top. And you can just see it adds a really, really nice glow to the skin as well. Like it's got a little sheen like a highlighter would. Like I know you guys know I'm not the biggest blush fan, but honestly, like I've been really into this. It applies perfectly well over powder as well. So that's how I've been using it myself. Normally I find blushes to be quite like, I don't know, almost kind of aging sometimes, but I find this to be really fresh looking. So I'm gonna take a little teeny tiny bit on my finger and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. So you can see it might look a little bit crazy there, just a little bit, but don't worry, we can blend it out. I'm just gonna show you guys here on this camera. So I'm just gonna literally tap that into my cheeks. Obviously you can use a sponge or a brush or whatever you kind of fancy, but I don't know, I just kind of like using my fingers. I feel like I have a bit more control with it. Like, you know those days, I certainly know those days when you're looking a little bit dead, you could just chuck a little bit of this over the top of like your bare skin. I feel like it would look really, really nice. So again, just gonna take the same kind of amount on my finger. And I'm just gonna do three little dots on my cheek again like that. And then yeah, just blend it out. So I'm literally just kind of doing it from about where the middle of my eye starts up to my temples. You can even do a little bit on your nose. I know some people like to put a bit of blush on the end of their nose. I don't normally do that, but why not? Let's do it today. I feel like they need to bring out a bronzing version of this as well. That would be so good. Just when you want kind of like basically this effect, but when you just want it a bit more bronzy. Iconic London, I'm talking to you. I might even add a tiny bit more just like on the apples of my cheeks here, just to kind of build that bit up. I just love how glowy it looks. Like it's set down completely. It's not gonna like budge or anything. But it just gives a really nice sheen to my skin. Really big fan of it. So yeah, that's the Iconic London Sheer Blush in the shade Rose Riot. They have six different shades. And as always, I will just leave links to everything in the description box down below. But yeah, I bet you guys never would have thought in a million years that I'd be sitting here putting that much blush on my face, but I like it. All right, so now for highlighter, I have obviously the Iconic London Illuminator, which you guys know I love. But I also have this guy, which I have actually featured on my stories before, but I don't think I've ever actually put it on my channel. So this is the Multi Glow, again, by Iconic London, and I've got mine in the shade Frosted Gold. Literally, this stuff is 
bonkers. So take a little bit of it and say no more. Let's put it on my face. So I'm gonna take my sponge this time and just load up the tip of that. Get rid of that cat hair. Thanks, Michael. And I'm gonna pop that right on the top of my cheeks. Oh, hello there, wow. Just popping that on my brow bone. Mm. I've not used this blush and this cream highlights together before, but I'm into it. Put it on the old Cupid's bow and by a bit, I mean loads. And then the same on this side. Yes, 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 yes. There's me like five minutes ago saying how this look was too glowy. But then I just go and add some more. Can't be helped. It can be helped. I just, I just want more, right? And then I'm gonna take a tiny little bit on my finger and dot that on the center of my snoz. And then you know what? I might actually pop this on my eyes as well because you can use it on your eyes. So I'm gonna take a fair amount of that and just pop that on my lid. Oh my God, that is so nice. So I'm literally just gonna like, just tap that on at first and then on this eye. This stuff really goes a long way as well. So you really do not need a lot. I'm just gonna keep blending that out and like tapping it in until it dries down. And I'm just gonna quickly wipe off that brush there, go back in with my RCMA palette thingy and take a bit more of that contour shade, dot it on my hand, and then just blend that back into the crease just to build it back up. So now for lips, I'm gonna be taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have mine in the shade London and Cairo. So I'm gonna put London like all over my lips and then put a little bit of Cairo right in the center. Oh, I haven't used this color in a while. This is one of my favorites. I mean, it's a little bit of this guy here. Da -da -da. Then for my brows, cause they definitely need sorting out right now. I'm gonna use my ABH Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. So you guys know the drill with this. I'm literally just gonna fill in a few little hairs. Nothing crazy. I'm just kind of brush that through my brows. I always forget how much I love this stuff until I use it again and I'm like, why did I stop using that? I'm actually also gonna take a tiny bit and dot that on my spot there, just so it looks like a little mole. Just so it looks like it's kind of meant to be there. Unlike Steve, who is an intruder and we hate him. All right, so now, last but not least, can't really do a cream alternative to this, although let me know if you do know a cream alternative because I'd be down to try it. I'm gonna go ahead, add some mascara, maybe add some lashes off camera, and then I'll show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look, and I don't hate it. I actually don't hate it at all. It's definitely not something I would wear on camera as much, just purely because of the lights and like, just, it just makes me look a little bit more greasy than I'd maybe like. But in person, it actually looks really, really fresh and dewy and healthy which is what I need after the new year. But yeah, when I started out, I was thinking to myself, am I literally just gonna end up looking like an oil slick? And granted, there was a split second where I was looking very wet, but I think the finished look looks actually not that much different to my normal makeup. Just a little bit more shiny. I don't know what this is, but just a little bit more shiny. So guys, as always, I will include all the links to the products that I featured in today's video in the description box down below, including the iconic London Sheer Blush. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.